KFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Friday, the 19th of July. We're looking at the Dow down th almost 300 points at 40,370. Made that PE with an exact round number, 41,376.00, all time high yesterday, and now it's down very sharply from that level. And we're looking at the SP. Let's just go to the SP, which is also down. It's down 13, at 55.31. Oh, that got corrected. Good. You can see the Chapman Wave inside track at a peak F. Oh, I should have sung my song. Buy at the low and sell at the high. Um, well, we won't do that. 566.69.67 was the uh, all-time high four sessions ago. Now we're at 5532. Looking at the QQQ, they've been impacted by the semiconductors quite a bit. Qs are down uh, 52 cents at 478.89. Going to the left side low, it's very important how it holds or takes out 477. Uh, we're yep. looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000, uh, down 82 cents. It's trying its best to hold, but I think it's going to be impacted by the general uh, malaise that's going on right now. Um, so we'll see how it tests the 214 area. But in the meantime, it's at 217.05, down 88 cents. Gold. Gold got smacked to the downside. Gold is down, let me tell you right now, it's down 67, I think. Yep, 67, having just made a new uh, recovery high, all time high actually, uh, in the two, 2480s just uh, three days ago. And here it is underneath the 14 period moving average. Oh, I didn't even do silver in my show. Silver's down sharply as well, down 1.24, down $1.24. That's big. At uh, 29.33, we're looking at, uh, let's see, silver. Now let's go to um, high grade copper. High grade copper is also down. It's right on the 200 period moving average. Let's see how it can hold that at 4.25. Looking at crude oil, crude oil is holding okay. It's down $1.41, but it's. It's really just stuck in the range. And bonds, that's really important. Bonds are down almost a point, and that's making yields go higher. So that's not, not great. So in the meantime, back at the ranch, if the Dow, if, if this is a very high number of, of options and, and anything that pertains to uh, the futures for this Friday expiration. And that just says to me, if there's going to be a spike to the upside, it needs to start no later than 2.20, I, I would even say 10 minutes to 2 Eastern time, because otherwise it's not going to have time to really do very much. It mustn't go to the downside. We've had a lot of downside. Usually they reverse it. But if it doesn't do that, it's going to be very difficult. Because if the Dow goes underneath 40,300 later today, that's going to be a negative. Have a wonderful re weekend and check out this is Tiger Dollar last weekend check it out front page of tfnn also my webinar coming up tuesday the 23rd In